Doctor Sleep is a supernatural and psychological horror which was written for the screen and directed by Mike Flanagan. It stars Ewan McGregor, Rebecca Ferguson and newcomer Kylie Curran. The film is based on the Stephen King novel of the same name and is the sequel to the popular 1980 Stanley Kubrick film, The Shining, which in turn was based on King's 1977 novel. Ewan McGregor plays an adult Danny Torrance who has a drinking problem and moves from place to place trying to forget what happened all those years ago at the Overlook Hotel. As much as he has managed to lock away the ghosts of his past, Danny can't quite escape them and he unwittingly comes into contact with a girl named Abra Stone, played by Kaylee Curran, who can also shine and Danny forms an unlikely friendship with her. While this is going on, Rebecca Ferguson's character, Rose the Hat and her followers, the True Knot, who for years have been searching for children who shine and feed off their shine, steam they call it, killing them, in their quest for immortality. Rose senses Abra shine which is of such power that Rose hasn't felt in a long time, and it becomes Rose and her followers mission to track her down. The Shining is regarded as a cinematic masterpiece in a lot of people's eyes, though it was left ambiguous and for many years people were satisfied with its ending, like me. Stephen King famously of course doesn't like Stanley Kubrick's adaptation of his novel. I do love The Shining though, regardless of its apparent inconsistencies to the novel. So did we need a sequel to the novel of The Shining? Well King thought so, and so Doctor Sleep was published in 2013. Film wise though, I never thought so, but I wasn't against the idea. Mike Flanagan had what must have been a daunting task of not just pleasing fans of both novels, but also ones of Kubrick's film. I haven't read The Shining or Doctor Sleep, but I have read that the latter is a mostly faithful adaptation. So when it came to seeing Doctor Sleep, you could say I had an unbiased mindset of what to expect from the film as an adaptation. I just wanted a film that fits in with and continues the narrative of the first film, while bringing something fresh. I was not disappointed whatsoever. From the start I knew I was in good hands. Mike Flanagan gives us a riveting character driven narrative, and the horror in Doctor Sleep is not like the typical textbook scares you get from many horror films these days, which I was so glad about. The scares we do get are all learned and necessary to the plot and characters. The film's strength is in its implied horror and is done brilliantly. There are a lot of implications for many of the characters and what you don't see is more disturbing as it leaves it to the imagination. Ewan McGregor is excellent in the film, having to deal with his past that messed him up psychologically, being an alcoholic and trying to put it all behind him by going to AA meetings and securing a job at a hospice. How he uses his gifts of premonitions and connections to others is wonderfully touching and it really makes you like his character all the more for it. Rebecca Ferguson is mesmerising from start to finish as Rose the Hat and has so many varying degrees of emotion throughout the film. I would definitely say that Rose and her followers are some of the best fleshed out villains I have seen on screen for the last couple of years. So much screen time is given to them, even though of course you don't condone their actions, you can understand their motivations and goals. Kylie Curran is fabulous in her role of Abra. For someone so young, she really holds her own with the older and more seasoned actors. She shows so much range, hits so many emotional beats throughout the film for someone so young. Usually children are irritating to me in films, but with Curran it's not the case at all, and she deserves to be there. The rest of the cast are good, whatever role they are in, big or small, and to me that is not a common thing. Everyone stands out in one way or another. The only complaint I have is when one or two scenes depict certain characters doing things that seem out of place to what you see them do in the rest of the film. But that's the only negative I found with the film. Mike Flanagan has done a superb job as director, screenwriter and editor with Doctor Sleep. His editing is to be applauded as the film's pace keeps you interested and never loses focus on the story or the characters, which is essential in a character driven film when you consider the film's length at two and a half hours. For the first 30 minutes or so we are shown the characters in small portions and it builds from there and that is how you get invested in the characters. Of course to some that could come across as annoying, but I assure you it is worth it. Flanagan masterfully gives us a narrative that doesn't rely on fan service of the first film and gets you invested in the characters and their journey. The first two acts don't really have much to do with Kubrick's The Shining. 
That's what's so good about Flanagan's screenplay. He draws you in with these exceedingly well fleshed out characters and then gives you what you came to watch, a sequel to The Shining. Is it better than The Shining? No, not as a whole and it doesn't try to be either. But I think the characters are more interesting and I was invested in these characters more than the ones in The Shining. Doctor Sleep has a different tone and pace to The Shining, which is a good thing, as it wouldn't make sense to copy something so cinematically iconic. Doctor Sleep in no way tarnishes the first film. If anything, it is sort of a companion piece to The Shining, which can only be regarded as a positive. My final thoughts on Doctor Sleep are that it is a superb horror in every sense of the word. Mike Flanagan shows fantastic skill as director and gives us a riveting, somewhat disturbing and thought-provoking screenplay with brilliantly fleshed out characters, which are complemented by outstanding performances from Ewan McGregor, Rebecca Ferguson and Kylie Curran, and with top acting from the rest of the supporting cast. Doctor Sleep is a worthy sequel to The Shining, and is one of my favourite films of the year, hands down. Well guys, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed my review of Doctor Sleep, and you can tell me your thoughts on the film down below, positive or negative. If you are new to my channel and if you haven't already you can click subscribe and the notification bell so you can keep up to date with my latest reviews. Thanks very much guys and I'll catch you next time.